Hi friends in this video we are going to see how to set your free Namecheap SSL for domain which you got from Namecheap shared hosting. I explained this video with my Stellar Plus shared hosting in Namecheap. Additionally we are going to create some other things here. They are Creating email account in hosting Next is installing WordPress and adding two plugins for SSL purpose. Finally adding SSL trust logo seal in WordPress. So, kindly watch full video for better understanding. Who are all eligible for free positive SSL for one year? Clients who have purchased a new hosting account with one of the shared hosting plans. Clients who are adding new domain names, add-on domains and subdomains, to their existing hosting account with shared hosting plan. Offer details. This offer is only available for shared hosting packages. We will get one SSL certificate for every unique domain name. It is possible to receive 50 free SSL certificates per one cPanel account. Log in to both Namecheap hosting and domain account. In the dashboard of Namecheap domain account, find domain name which you want to set SSL. After finding domain name click its drop down menu and click activate button of positive SSL option. There are 5 steps need to be completed to get HTTPS. In the first step it is asking to enter CSR. CSR is called as certificate signing request. CSR can be generated in Namecheap hosting cPanel account. Find SSL option and click that. Here you can find CSR and click the link just below CSR to generate new CSR. In the key settings just use the generate a new 2048 bit key. Next you should enter the domain name which should be in Namecheap hosting account. Next fill city state country company, email address and other details. Some are not mandatory but I am filling some of them for my needs. Finally click generate button. Now copy the encoded certificate signing request. Go to the first step of SSL which is in Namecheap domain account. Paste the encoded certificate signing request. The domain name was mentioned automatically because we activated the SSL from that domain only. Click next. We are using cPanel so choose second option and click next. In this step. Domain control validation method checks about whether you are the owner of domain or not. Another reason, it is asking permission from you for the issuance of SSL certificate. There are three methods to verify. We have to choose any one and have to give the related details. I have selected email option. I have not yet created webmail. So now I am going to do that. In Namecheap hosting account click email accounts. Click create. Choose required domain. Set username as admin. Next create password and after that allocate space for webmail. Finally click create. Now I am opening my created webmail. Return back to Namecheap domain account and click next. Enter your desired email address to receive SSL files and click next. Finally click submit button. Now in webmail check whether you have received mail for permitting issuance of SSL certificate. After receiving that mail, open it and click the given link. Copy the validation code in that email and paste that code in domain control validation page. Now open your email which you mentioned to receive SSL certificate. 
you will receive two emails one contains SSL certificate files and another one is SSL trust logo seal. First open SSL certificate email. I am copying the text format of SSL certificate. Now in cPanel go to SSL and click generate certificate link. In the upload new certificate text box field paste the text format of SSL certificate. I am filling details in description for my needs. Finally click save certificate. Now return SSL manager and click manage SSL sites. Now choose the domain from the drop down menu which you want to install SSL certificate. Next click autofill by domain button. Finally click install certificate. Here the good thing is the SSL also supports www subdomain. Next we are going to install WordPress for this domain. This protocol is accepting now because we already installed SSL. Otherwise we cannot use this protocol. Fill other details and finally click install. Now I am going to install really simple SSL plugin. One of the reason is it helps to avoid mixed content errors. Next I am going to add SSL Trust logo seal in my blog. To add this JavaScript code I am installing header footer plugin. <laughs> 